we have the integral of the natural log of x squared solution. So the natural thing to try is to maybe let u be equal to the natural log of x. Then we can compute du. So du is 1 over x dx. Now there's no x here in the integrand, so maybe now we can multiply both sides by x. So we have x du equals dx. And now we're kind of stuck uh, because we have this x du. However, we know that u is equal to the natural log of x. So we can solve this for x by exponentiating both sides. So we'll put an e here and put an e here. So then we have e to the u equals x. So that means that the x becomes e to the u, and then we have du, and that's equal to dx. All right, now we're in a good place. We can make the substitution. So all of this will become, let's see, so dx is e to the u du. So it's e to the u. And then um, ln is u, so it's u squared du. Let's write it as u squared e to the u du. So there's two ways to proceed now. We can use integration by parts twice, or we can use tabular integration. Let's use tabular integration. So when you're using tabular, what you do is you pick one to differentiate. So we're just going to differentiate this one. And you want to pick one that is eventually 0. So like the first derivative here is 2u. Do it again, you get 2. Do it again, you get 0. And then you pick the other piece, and you just keep integrating it. So that's really easy to integrate, because you just get e to the u. So you pick one and differentiate, and it has to eventually be 0. Then you integrate the other one. Then you start with plus signs. So plus, minus, plus, minus. Then you draw arrows. So arrow, arrow, arrow. And then you follow the arrows to get the answer. So it's u squared, e to the u, minus 2u, e to the u, plus 2, e to the u, and then plus c. Just following the arrows, right? Now u, u is ln x. We've got to be careful now. We get to replace all of the u's with ln x's. So this is ln x quantity squared. Oh, this is cool. e to the ln x. That's going to cancel, right? It's kind of nice. Minus 2 ln x, e to the ln x, plus 2 e to the ln x, plus c. So we end up with, let's see, it's going to be um, ln x quantity squared times x minus 2 ln x times x plus 2x plus c. Right, All of the e to the ln x's became x's. And that is the final answer. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there, and I hope it made sense.